Now, I know you're meant to blast stream them, but... Oh, did he just tear off his arm to throw at me? It's really much easier just to do this. Oh, uh, here's a top tip. Don't get knocked down because there's no one to revive you. You're going to have to restart if you get knocked down here. And you can use that as cover, although it'll eventually get destroyed. I wonder if you can grab him. No, you can't. There we go. I tested something you don't have to. You can't capture stream them. Hmm. I wonder if I end up there. The pattern is starting to make sense. I think I'm close to finding the I did the end exit. up here. Uh oh. I've got bogeys. Heads up, boys, wherever you are. Okay, down there is one of where I want to be heading eventually. Huh, it's like passing. Totally inverted. Okay, okay, I'm through. Send a signal we can track you with. Ah. I'm trying, but it might not work. The last portal I entered was at the top of a long flight of steps. This is bad. Getting swarmed. I'll just try and freeze him from a distance. And bam. Huh, I should have just shot if they would tip them. Quit PK meter. Aha. Huh, looks like I would come this way anyway. Uh, there is a artifact somewhere in here. Ah, it's that big chair, right? Oh, that's a lot of text. <laughs> uh, circa 1976, Nate Featherwell. Sorry, aspiring ventriloquist had big dreams, but not much talent. He spent his life savings on a charm from a voodoo priestess. When used correctly, the spell would bring wood to life. Nate hoped to use it to charm his dummy, Smuggy, but accidentally worked the spell on his chair. He sat on instead. The chair alive, but ignored, uh, grew jealous of the attention Featherwell lavished on the inanimate Smuggy, and did away with them both in a rage-fueled wood chipper accident. Uh, the chair slipped away unnoticed and remains at large to this day. Well, not to this day, I just found it. So you can't say to this day. Anyway? Made it out too! Hey, champ! We won't leave until you find us. Look for the long staircase. The exit portal is at the very top. Huh. Would it happen to look like this, perchance? Ooh. Keep moving, sport. We sure don't want to be trapped in here. Just leg it. Uh, they're pretty much just going to stay circling that little... Ooh, hello. That little bit. So if you can leg it... through them, there's actually nothing to be worried about. Although, if there is no room that you can see, then uh, you can actually just uh, blast a hole. And if you can time... Oh, bugger. Recruit, I had some trouble getting to the portal. Use the slime tether to bring the portal to you. And now... So yeah, don't need to kill all of them. You're not getting any money for it, so just don't bother. I wonder what that means. Did you hear that? Wonder if that's the collector we're looking for. I think he goes by Azid Lord now. Hey, connect. Are you okay? Sounds like it's getting closer. Can you get to that portal at the top of the stairs? Uh, yeah, I think so. This is looking good right now. Or do I go that way? Pardon me. I think I go this way. Yeah, that's working. Uh, just gotta wait for it to join up. Come on. Come on. There we go. Normally I would've just jumped. 
I'm gonna make it. And... Don't leave without me. I do like what they've done with the place here. But I hope that portal would have taken us back to the library. Actually, we are back in the public library. The dimensional membrane must be extremely thin here. Someone's holding us here. The Collector. Yes, oh, Azagor wants to add to his collection, and he's probably not too happy about us taking the Gozerian Codex with us. Oh yeah? What can a twisted little bookworm do to scare us? He murdered Eleanor Twitty for it when he was alive, and a dozen others just to cover it up. Hey, Collector! We're taking your book! What do you think about that? Uh, uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Yeah, so in a way. Got his attention, Ray. Oh boy. Ray. I can't believe you just invoked the power of a god again. Uh, don't forget, guys, we need to scan him. My proton stream. Look, his face is protected by black slime. That okay. Oh, she she got me from behind. The black slime on his mask. Okay, a tip for if you're unprofessional: stay near the portals. The portals will save your life. Because, uh, well, let's face it, he's gonna charge at you at certain Ow. points. We need to clear the black slime off his mask. Use the slime blower kit. And, uh, basically you want to try and keep your friends alive it's as clear. long as possible. Um, that'll usually mean just going... Oops. That'll just mean going kamikaze. Yes. That could get you killed in professional mode, based, by the way. Use the capture stream to rip off his mask. He's on... Yeah, that did it! Oh no, I think we just exposed his angry side. Bring him down all the way. Concentrate on the eye if you can. He's got nothing that can resist the proton stream. Uh, until he gets his mask back. This is going to make him, him piss, the by the We've way. So, uh, stay away from him. This is why I say stick near to the portals, because then you can literally just jump in one, pop out the opposite one. That's what they're there for. To make this boss fight easier. Eesh. He's out of control. Blast him in the eye. Rook, I think it's working. <laughs> uh, stay a lot closer than where I was. He's gonna get his mask soon again. And yeah, in professional mode, you would not be able to get your ass handed to you like this without dying. Oh, I got damn. Oh, never mind. We need to get out of here. That was perfect timing. Come on, Rook, that's gotta be the way out. Guys. Coming through the portal. What portal? This portal. What the hell were you guys? I've been running all over this library, calling you, looking for you, nothing. We passed through a cross-dimensional portal into an alternate version of the New York Public Library and fought a 40-foot monster made out of priceless antiques to steal an ancient magical book. Yeah, oh, basically. Well, that would explain it. Next time, leave a note. Ray, does this mean anything to you? Oh, wow. Nope, it wasn't here the first time we came through. What is it? Not entirely sure, but whatever it is, I think we just turned it off. You turned a bit of it off. You thinking what I'm thinking? Then cross New York style with no visible end hmm? Maybe later. Right now, <laughs> I need to go back to the lab and take a look at this codex. And analyze the data we've collected. It could help I'm us when Winston. we go to the museum. Slice to go on the way? Rookie's tree? And we need to know what this is. I'll call for delivery. Again. Yeah, those guys got too serious. Investigate the Codex with Ray. Where is Ray? Ray is here. But what do I know about Codexes? I'm a noob. Well, it's a great read, but nothing about that. 
I know that symbol. How? It shows up sometimes in Sumerian ritual magic. There's a statue on loan at the museum that features it. What does it represent? Just a symbol. Signifies a path to obtain great power. Most of my colleagues assume it's an old constellation. No constellation I ever saw. And I used to tell fortunes on Coney Island. Nice. Well, that's right. Did you wear a turban? No, man. A red velvet cape with moons. It was plush. Get this. The codex <laughs> does indicate there is some kind of feeder system required to channel energy to a destructor form. A destructor form? Like Stapa? It's entirely possible that system and this pattern are connected. It's possible. Wait, you said the Gozerian statuary at the museum is on loan. From whom? Evo Shandor, the architect. Well, the Shandor Foundation. They control Shandor's remaining estate and holdings. Evo is a big collector of Gozerian artifacts. Yeah, we know. By Evo Shandor, the architect, you mean Evo Shandor, the genocidal maniac, right? That's what I was researching when Gozer attacked me. Shandor's architecture firm was involved in a number of projects around town in the late 18, early 1900s. Including Dana Barrett's old building on Central Park. I told you so. You mean the one with the extra dimensional antenna that drew Gozer to our world so he could attempt to destroy it? He had a nice view of the park, though. Yes, but he also did some renovations on existing buildings and a number of public works. There was controversy, because a lot of people thought the work was unnecessary. Let me guess. He did some renovations on the public library building on 5th. Right. And the Museum of Natural History. No way. Recent visitations, specific localized paranormal activity, singing Vikings. They're all connected to Shandor and this pattern. So, uh... Not much to do then, just... I don't know, they didn't really clear it up. They'll explain it later. Basically, we have to disable the other two points. One of them, we know, is uh, the museum. But what is the other area, I wonder? Eh, we'll find out. Eh, Please just have a look at... Please don't call him that. Just... Peck, that's bad enough. Nice. Peck, called again. He's not happy. He says that if you guys fire just one more unauthorized proton stream, he'll shut us down for good. Yeah, but then he'd be out of a job. Does he not consider that? Anyway, have a quick look at uh, our new stuff. A few new paintings, I think. Hello, Ghostbusters. Or just the one, mainly. And let's head on to the next mission, the museum of we should publicness. I don't know, he's likely to just sick peck on us even more. You should get a closer look at the museum. Well, the mayor is going to be at the museum for the exhibitioning opening gala tonight. It's where I need to be too. Phyllisa, you sure make work fun for me. Is business casual okay? I don't have a tux. Are you kidding? He doesn't want you guys within three city blocks of the museum tonight. He thinks you make his campaign contributors nervous. Besides, that Peck guy will be at the party too. Okay, Egon will stay here and finish analyzing the data from the library. The rest of us will go in by the service entrance of the museum and lay low. Peter can attend the party as Alyssa's guest and stay in plain sight of Peck. And that frees us up to check out the rest of the building. I love this plan. It's just dull enough to work. <laughs> Il, I'm going to bring you a corsage. Oh, that's sweet of him. Just arrived at the loading dock. Keep Peck distracted. We're gonna poke around. Okay, I'll take one for the team. Oh, it's no very sign kind. of the curator. Alyssa told me he'd meet us right here. Maybe Alyssa lied. Maybe it's a trap. Wow. Uh, this Something isn't a good way. This box in a big way. Watch out, black slime. Unchecked, can eventually open a full interdimensional portal. An open doorway, and anything that wants to can come through. If a full portal has been opened, it has to be sealed using your slime blower. That's the key reason we developed that deck. Uh, why is there something behind here? One second, guys. Oh, right. Uh, I'm supposed to come here later. Might as well clear it out now. 
Anyway, I just happen to Door's know. Door shut. Somebody find the power. Okay, power's back here. I happen to know there's an artifact down here, but I just can't remember where. Bit more booming. And we have light. Good work, Eagle Eye. Look I guess at not. this. Just store. Something's trail packing material down the hall here. Packing material and slime. Bum, 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 bum. Sorry. I was listening to the Ghostbusters theme earlier. Uh, well, not really the theme, it was just the opening, uh... The opening music while you're in the menu. Yeah, since that, it's very catchy. It's in my head now. <laughs> 